Welcome to Fab Commander. Today we will discover how to mirror a database from Azure SQL to Microsoft Fabric. Let's start with a demonstration about how this task works. Here I have in Azure an Azure SQL database called Adventure Works DW 2020. I'll mirror this database to Fabric. Let's see how I can start this process. I have here a workspace in Power BI. I have a lake house, but this is not required. This lake house is here only for testing people. The mirroring feature is located in the data warehouse experience. So I need to select the data warehouse experience to see the mirroring options and take a look. There are three mirroring options. I can mirror a Cosmo DB database I can mirror from Snowflake or from Azure SQL. Today, I'll be showing how to mirror from Azure SQL. This is our form. Let's start the mirroring. I'll choose the connection, new connection. I could use one of the existing connections. This wizard keeps reminding me the connections I already used, but I'll show how to create a new connection in this situation and specify the details of the connection. I need to get the Azure SQL Server address. I copy from Azure and pass in Power BI. Specify the database, which is Adventure Work DW 2020, and paste here. I want to create a new connection. I can give a name for this new connection. Fabric Monday Connection and specify the authentication. I use basic authentication and next. I'm seeing the tables in my Azure SQL database and it automatically selected to me the tables which can be mirrored. They are already marked, already selected, with some exceptions that due to the limitations that they can't be mirrored. Let's move ahead and let's to connect. Destination of the mirror. Let's call the destination Adventure. Adventure. Create mirror database. A mirror database inside Fabric. What exactly is this? Let's go. So the mirroring started, Mirror Azure SQL Database is running. Azure SQL Database is being replicated. Let's take a look on the workspace to see what you got, we got from that. And here it is. We have an object which is a Mirror Database. See, it's a new type of object. It's not a lake house, not a data house. It's a mirror database. It has a default semantic model and a SQL analytics endpoint. In the same way that lake house and data house also have these objects. I can access the SQL analytics endpoint. And there it is. According to the mirror, it starts to be completed for each table. The tables start to appear in the SQL endpoint one by one. This doesn't mean that the mirror is one time task. The mirror is continuous as I will demonstrate. Let's wait a bit for all the tables to appear. And here it is. We can already see the data in our mirror database inside Microsoft Fabric. Let's run a query. My query is a select from Dean Customers, where first name is John and last name is Young. However, the table is not exactly customer. When the table was brought here, it became DBO underscore Dean Customer. So let's fix this name on the query, DBO underscore Dean Customer, and make the select of this row. And here it is. We have John Young in our replica of the database inside Microsoft Fabric. 
What happens if I go to my database in Azure SQL and make an update of John Young, Young to be Jean Young? So I will update this record. So now John Young is not John Young anymore. John Young is Jean Young. What happens with the Mihui? Let's take a look. Let's execute the select again. In fact, it doesn't find because I'm looking for the first name John. Let's look for the last name Young. And I can locate Jean Young, the record that I just updated. John Young became Jean Young in the Mihue database. This means that updates in Azure SQL, inserts in Azure SQL, are immediately Mihue to Microsoft Family. In this way, we can establish a Mihue between the Family environment and the Azure SQL environment. And why do I have this lake house here? I said this is for a testing purpose. What test can I do with this lake house? So let me open the lake house. Here on the lake house, I can create a shortcut to one lake and I can choose my Mihuri database. So I can make shortcuts from a lake house to tables located in my Mihuri database. I can get the customer's table, for example, and make the customer table accessible in my lake house. There it is. I just created a shortcut for the Dean customer table located in the Mihure database. So now I can access this Mihure table in my lake house. Let's get back to our PowerPoint. Some limitations in relation to the Mihure. What can prevent us from successfully Mihure a database? It's only for Azure SQL and the other two we saw, Snowflake and CosmoDB. We can't mirror from on-premise environments, SQL Server on-premise environments, and we can't use the data gate, only for Azure SQL. Azure SQL needs an identity. We need to define a system managed identity for Azure SQL. The minimum service level is S3. If the service level is lower than S3, it will not work. Database and Fabric needs to be in the same tenant. The Azure SQL and Fabric needs to be in the same tenant for the Mihuri works. And the fields using UDTs are not supported. These fields are not supported. Tables with UDTs can't be Mihuri to Fabric. And when we should use mirroring and when we should not use mirroring. How should we use it in relation to our data tactics? We can use mirroring to create a mirror for ingestion to fab. The mirror itself is not an ingestion to fab, but many times the production Azure SQL has so many workloads that we would like to avoid to make an ingestion directly from it to fabric. A solution would be to make a mirror of the production Azure SQL and ingest from the mirror. This is one reason to make a mirror. Create a mirror to make production reporting. So we can create a mirror and instead of creating production reporting directly from the production Azure SQL, we can create a production reporting from the mirror, reducing the workload of the production Azure SQL. This is a good solution. And for limited analytical reporting, limited analytical reporting can be done over the mirror. And for which situations we should not use the mirror? As an ingestion to fabric, Miho is not an ingestion to fabric. Doesn't think that you'll be ingesting the data to fabric using Miho because you not. Why? Because it's a Miho. It will Miho the production. Production is an environment that accepts updates, accepts deletes, and these updates and deletes will be Miho to fabric, to the fabric environment. 
fabric has the responsibility to keep the history of the data. This means that the model of the mirror database doesn't fit a data intelligence environment. So you should not consider the mirror as a full solution for the ingestion. That's an important thing. For complete analytical report, the reason is the same. You can make limited analytical report with the mirror. Limited, because your history is not there. You don't have a full history of your data. But for complete analytical report, you should not count on the mirror. And as a single ingestion solution, exactly what I mean in relation to the first one as well. Simply consider the mirror in your ingestion solution to FAP. It's not. The mirror is not your ingestion solution to FAP. It's only a starting point of your ingestion solution. More needs to be built. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.